episode today. I'm, I'm kind of excited about this. We're going to do another rock setup based around eight microphones or less. Today we have exactly eight. But this is kind of an alternative setup where we're going to start with a mono overhead and we're going to create our stereo image with some of the other mics. Now this is just another way of doing it. Most of the time we're always sticking some sort of you know space pair or you know, RTF or XY or whatever on the overheads, but I've been on this mono kick lately and there's something cool about it because it gives you a strong center. But then also if you're in modern music or you're doing rock or pop or stuff, you still want some stereo image. So we're going to create that using our spot mics actually. And like I said, it's just another way of getting a cool rock tone or pop tone or actually any type of tone. Today, we're going to do it as a rock thing to hear what it sounds like. We do have a track, again, to play with. But this could work in anything. And it's just really to give you some other ideas that may spur some cool thoughts or cool sounds in your own recordings with whatever gear you have available to, to you. Play a, play a groove with just every couple bars of Tom Phil, and then I'll pull one thing in at a time. Overhead only. So we're missing some bottom for sure. Kick. Go to the ride. You do a Tom groove. Uh, two, three, boom. Kick snare overhead. Very centered. Nice and focused. Tom's even, man, I'm. I'm actually impressed with how much that overhead is getting the toms to match with the snare. And we got a mic on the snare there. We got a good center to start with. We can start building out from there. We'll turn this down and I'm just going to gradually bring the hi-hat in. Go for it. Everything mono. Get real loud on it so you can hear where it is. Right, back down. Ah. Go to the ride. Same thing with the ride. Back the hat. Ride. Give me a fill in between. Notice now we actually start to have an actual stereo image. Now, a couple things happen with this. Since we are with a, with a mono overhead, as opposed to say our spaced pair or even an XY where we have some mic, something pointing or directly over those sides of the kit, the ride and the hi-hat are not overly loud in that overhead, which lets us use those spot mics a lot more. So you notice when I pulled the hi-hat up, I mean, I went kind of loud with it, but when I pulled it up, you really started to hear it pull out to the outside and the same thing with the ride, yet we still keep that center, that focused center. Now just, I want to hear the crashes. Can you just, I'm going to solo up just the hat and the ride and go ahead. Can you give me the left and right crashes? Now I'm going to pull in the overhead. Cool, thank you, sir. 
so that the hi hat and the ride where where before I may high pass the crap out of them and really try to get them to separate. Now I'm using them as bleed for the crashes as well. So I want some of those crashes to bleed in there. So we actually played with our mic placement on the ride quite a bit till we found a spot that sounded good on the ride and did an okay job of picking up that crash on how's right. The hi-hat, that crash is over there by that. So it does, it picks that up pretty well. Okay, moving on. Let's let's get to the second part. Let's go to our toms because this is the other place that we're going to get that our stereo field from. Go back and forth between the toms. So you can hear we've got a little bit of left and right. Now, I do the same thing. I'm going to pull the overhead. Cool. So you, Notice that now with that overhead in there, it's not, we don't hear quite as definite left and right, although we do still hear it left and right. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pan it out just a touch more. Do it again. There we go. Now I'm hearing it left and right here. Again, I'm not trying to go wide. I'm not doing this. Do it again. Not trying to do that. There we go. I'm gonna mute the toms for four bars and then I'm gonna bring the toms in. So we're gonna start off with kick, snare, overhead. Our mono centered sound. Same thing. It sounds stereo. We have a definite stereo field, but still have a nice strong center. One last mic before we get there. The kit front mic, gotta go over this. Just play um, hat groove with some tom fills. Off. Go to the tom groove. One, two, three, boom. So it's filler. You pull it up and things just get a little thicker. It's almost like a saturation mic, really. The compression helps add a little bit of excitement. But here we are with eight microphones and a mono overhead, and we've got a pretty full, beefy, punchy tune. Now with everything up, before we go play to this track, I want you to keep one thing in mind when you're listening to this, is keep in mind that we have, we have a strong center because our kick snare and mono overhead is dead center. So whatever left and right we have is coming from our hi-hat and ride mic and our tom mics. That's gonna give our stereo image. So keep that in mind when you're listening for the cymbals, when you're listening for the toms, and especially the crashes, because the only love they're really getting is what bleed that's going into the spot mics that are close to them. So in this case, bleed is our best friend. If we would isolate those toms, we would lose that extra bit of crash that we're getting through there. So if you do a setup like this, probably a little extra care has to go into your exact mic, pla mic placement, as well as maybe the drummer dialing in how he's hitting cymbals or toms and stuff. So keep that in mind as you're listening to this track. We'll start a couple bars before that first verse, okay? Her name was Veronica. She loved 